Got the bulls fed. Gonna go get in the little tractor now and start feeding some hay. Another beautiful morning for this time of year. Let's get to work. She was four days old and her mother had kept her hidden the whole time. So I thought maybe she'd be, you know, slow enough. I could catch her when I was wrong. Named Winston, courtesy of Ryan in Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> Finally got that little heifer tagged. Her leg was so small she kept slipping out of my crook, so I had to catch her above the hock there. Her name is either Kyra or Kira, I don't know how they pronounce it, from Craig in Iowa. That little bull's name is Top G, named by Ricardo from Milan, Italy. That's why I don't let them get four or five days old before I can catch them. She's stronger than I was. But that little heifer is named Dell, courtesy of Nicole in Detroit. My wife got these new waters to replace the old ones that are over 25 years old, but I think she just liked the color of yellow and red better than what I had down there, which was galvanized, rusted. We're going to hardwire in a plug-in for this new automatic water. We've got a plug-in located below each of the waters, so I just need to wire it in directly to the box. So I bought a two-foot heavy-duty extension cord, but I don't need this in, so I'm going to cut it off. Just make sure you cut off the right end. Yesterday, when I did the first one, this is the second of the automatic waters. I had uh, had these extension cords and I cut off this end because I wasn't paying close enough attention to what I was doing. I've got to strip back uh, probably about three inches of uh, the insulation here so that I can run it through this opening to uh, wire nut it to the exposed wires in there. Okay, so I've cut off the outer insulation. Now I need to use the wire stripper to strip back about a half an inch of the insulation over each wire. Okay, using the wire stripper to strip back about a half inch or so of the insulation here. Now before I put the wire into the junction box here, I need to put this nut that's gonna go on there over the wire first. Okay, now these three wires have to be connected to the exposed wires in the junction box here. I'll put black to black, white to white, red to red. They're all connected back in the box cover. Connecting that back on. It should be ready to plug in to my outlet at the base of the concrete that this will set on. Good to go.
it's been so warm the past few days the cows haven't been cleaning up their hay. I don't have enough to just waste, so I'm just going to feed them cubes on this, this warm spring morning. <laughs> feed store to get a few bags of uh, feed for the bulls and also I'm going to get a couple of bags of cubes because I've got to uh, capture two cows tomorrow to uh, take to the sale barn uh, and I, they seem to come into the corral better if I use bag cubes instead of out of my cube feeder. <laughs> How many bags of 50 50? Six. Uh, okay. We'll get everything done, so let's call it a day. Night, 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 night.